Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install this update that is KV5062660. So the first step is to pause and restart the update. So go to Windows Update. Over here, you can see the pause option, hit pause. And once the update is paused, this process may take some time. Now, once the update is paused over here, now click on resume updates. And then you can check. Now, still not working. In that case, uh, start app readiness service. Now, for this, type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now, over here, find app readiness. Make a double click on app readiness. Set this to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted. And once this is done, now you can update and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run update troubleshooter. Now for this open Windows settings, go to system. And then click, scroll down, click on troubleshoot over here. Click on other troubleshooters. Here you can see Windows update. Click on run. In my case, this is not working right now, but in your case, uh, if it's working, you can try this. It will open this window and on this window, you will see the run update troubleshooter option. So here you can see run Windows update troubleshooter and then you will see an option uh, to uh, I can't download, install or uninstall an update. Click on it and then click on yes. Can we run the Windows update automated diagnostic? Click on yes. Just follow the on-screen instruction and then you can check. In my case, I always receive error over here. So here you can see with the Windows update diagnostic failed to run. If you want to talk to an agent, you can click on yes and continue. The next step is to run a restart windows update and background intelligent transfer service now for this type in services in windows search box and then click on services and then find windows update in the list make here you can see windows update make a double click on windows update set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok with this selected make a right click and then click on restart or start now find background intelligent transfer service make a double click on background intelligent transfer service set this to automatic again hit apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok with this selected you can make a right click and then click on restart and then you can check still not working the next step is to use windows 11 installation assistant for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website here you can see windows 11 installation assistant click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow if there is any update you will see update now option or install option in my case it is already up to date now the next step is to use microsoft update catalog now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser and over here write down the name of the update as kv5062660 now write down the name of the update that is kv5062660 and then click on search now over here for me it's windows 11 version 24h2 x64 base system so you can open windows settings so you can go to system and then you can go to about and over here you will come to know what kind of system you have so for me it's windows 11 version 24h2 x64 base system click on download and then over here you will see the update kb5062660 click on it and let the download complete once the download is complete you can click on this file and you can install this update manually and then restart your computer you can if that does not work you can even install this and then restart your computer and then check still not working the next step is to reset windows update components for this copy all these commands these commands are provided in the video description so co copy the command till here and then type in notepad in windows search box open notepad paste the file over here paste all the commands over here then go to file click on save as you can set the location as desktop name this file as wufix.bat and then for save as type select all files click on save go to desktop 
make a right click on this wu fix file and then click on run as administrator make sure that you open this file as an administrator and then click on yes to allow and let the process complete first first of all it will stop all the windows update services and then if you see this prompt uh, do you want to continue typing y for yes and then hit the enter key first of all stop it will stop all the windows update services and then it will run some scans now the scan process will take some time uh, there are a couple of scans so if you see this these these are three four scans so the scan process will take some time and once the scan is all the scans are complete it will restart all the windows update services and then you restart your computer and after the system restart you can update and then check still not working the next step is to uh, use fix problems using windows update now for this open windows settings go to windows update and then go to advanced option over here and then over here scroll down click on recovery option over here you can see the option which says fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now this process will take some time and after the reinstall you can check still not working the last step is to use media creation tool so copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website here you can see media creation tool click on download now and then once the download is complete you can run this exe file so you can run this exe file when you run this exe file you will see the screen uh, click on accept and then by default windows 11 will be selected so click on next then select iso file over here then click on next and then you can set the location as desktop then click on save and then let the, let the download complete the download process will take some time and once this is complete you can uh, click on finish over here and then here you can see the screen this so let it close automatically and once this is done go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file and then here you can see the setup file make a double click on setup file and then click on yes to allow and then click on next and then click on accept and here you can see ready to install option by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install once the installation is done this process will also take time once the installation is complete now you can log into the computer and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to update your windows 11 successfully so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel